So, this is a video where I'm going to talk about NBA 2K24, my team, and why I stopped playing it. And if you guys are wondering, you're like, what is the point of this? Um, Like, just go and just quit already, or are you done for 2K25? Probably not. I'm going to say it is right now, like, I think that NBA 2K25, my team, is going to be a piece of garbage. Um, but you're probably going to see me play it for a few weeks because I think the game is always good up to a point. Like I'm going to be no money spent. I'm buying the league pass edition. And also I don't know how much this channel is going to be used. The DBG, my team channel, which is like the, my team news channel, because I just don't want to rant about stuff. Like I don't want to rant about stuff. Like it's like, it is what it is. The fact is, is that from a content perspective, obviously, um, like I've moved on. If you guys have not been following me on Twitter or you've not been looking at the other channels, like it's very obvious that I've moved on and it's like, look, I think it's for the best. I think it is for the best because it means that I'm enjoying making my content again and you guys obviously might know the mix, the old good old Mixed Talks Hoops channel. And if you want to see how well this channel's doing, entirely on long form videos and long form content. 13,000 13, subscribers in the last 30 days and five and a half million views. Yes, five and a half million views. If you if you want to know how when the last time I got these this amount of views was in a month in my team. Four? Four years ago? I think four years ago. July of 2020. Albeit, look, July of 2020, I absolutely, like, that was the peak DBG. That was the most fun I've ever had making content, including now. Like, look, I really, really enjoy, I'm mostly talking about WNBA. And I like watching the games. I like talking about WNBA content. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And... If you guys, again, don't know, like, my style of content is, I like making quick videos where I can just give my opinion on a topic I'm interested in. And I no longer became interested in NBA 2K, and it was really hard to do. Like, it was, it was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do was give it up. It was probably the hardest thing because it meant that I gave up everything for my adult, like my adult life built up towards. Like I had so many plans for this channel for the rest of the year. I have not uploaded a video since the 1st of May. The 1st of May was the last time I uploaded a video on this channel, which is nuts. It was the Kobe situation. Um, Obviously the DBG My Team channel, nearly 30,000 subscribers. This channel that it's on. I've uploaded what? One, two, three four, five, six videos since the video where I was like, this video I actually said, I'll be probably uploading three times a week. I've uploaded six times in the last month. And look, that's unfortunately what has happened. YouTube wise, videos wise, it's no longer my priority, but I also just don't enjoy it. Like my favorite part of my team was building my team. Like, look, I have 25K. What is the most recent player that I can buy? Like 25k and I can't get anything in the GOAT series. I know I can get a couple of these cards for free. If you're looking at this mythical set, these cards are all 300k. Like I'm looking at the My Team playbook for tomorrow. And like how can I be excited when I don't, there's a 0% chance I'm going to be able to get 300k. Like yeah, the locker codes are cool. The free stuff is cool. But like, how am I meant to be excited about anything when I'm not refusing to gamble on packs? Is a what is it? Five percent chance I'm gonna even one of these cards here, and then even if I do want to buy it, it's three hundred k for a scrub Scoot Henderson, scrub Darius Garland, or scrub Mikael Bridges. Like, why would I want to do that? Free Kevin Durant, cool, cool. Like that's fine. But this is my team. How can I talk about meme cards, budget cards? How can we talk? How can you play this game for free? Look at this. A few days ago, our fourth... Sorry, no, wrong thing, wrong thing. I'm pretty sure there is a Invincible pack somewhere. 
an option pack. I need to see where I can find it. Like, two more invincible locker codes. Great, cool. Complete a final Team USA for another equal chance pack featuring six player cards. Like, you're getting bombs most of the time in this. Like, unless you get David Robinson, you're getting a scrub here. Uh, for this stage of the game anyway. Mecca JaVale McGee for 25 wins. Who cares? Honestly, who cares? Another 100 overall players added to mini game rewards. Who cares? You're never going to see them. Come back here for a final playbook of 2K24. Who cares? That is the real question, is who the F cares? Someone said apparently there is a... Including Summit is obviously for 2016. Why is it... Where is it that somebody sent me that there is going to be a player? So, um... These players will be available in two Invincible card packs along with previously released non-reward Invincible cards. Choose between the Lux packs, which guarantees an Invincible in every pack, or a five-card option pack for you to select. So, by the way, you have to pay for that. So you can get an option pack, which will give you a random five Invincibles Team USA set. Both packs will be available for a deep discount indefinitely. So you've got to buy them. You've got to buy them. Like... It's, everything in this is just about buying and gambling. You can't even choose. You might be saying, oh, but you get like an option pack. You get five random ones. If your option pack is Chris Paul, um, Ray Allen, Chris Paul, Ray Allen, Chris Middleton, um, Russ, and who's the next worst? DeAndre Jordan. If that's your option pack, you've been screwed. You only get one of these cards, so it's probably going to cost three times more than, um, an invincible pack. As well as that, these cards disc. If you get a dupe, the cards discard for three thousand MT. Like, how can we play? How can somebody play another my team mode? Heck, how do you make EA look good? I'll, I'll talk about the the Forbes article at some stage, or not Forbes, New York Times article at some stage. But I don't understand how someone can play this mode. I don't understand how if you played back in the day with the way my team was, with everything that was great about this game, how you can just look at this, how you can look at what's happened to my team and not think, wow, 2K screwed up. How are you going to get anything other than that is beyond me. Like, there's no excuse excusing what 2K have done. Like, I'm sorry. With what 2K have done, if you are a my team creator, and this is not personal, because some of the people that are going to be that are in this group of people are some guys that i legitimately like this is not personal and by the way again some of these people they know that like if you are linked with 2k right now and you're at community day there is like you are a content creator you are not in any sort of a my team community and you are a shill and again Look, there are benefits to being a shill, by the way. There are benefits. Like, financially, if you're sticking with... If you're sticking with my team content, if you are a content creator, I would advise you to be a shill. Because if you're not shilling what's the, what is in there for you, you're not going to get views. You're not going to do great. You're going to be ranting constantly. Um, Your views are going to go down. Less people are going to play the game. At least if you're shilling, you might get some benefits from 2K. So, unless you're a shill, unless you are willing to shill, a evil company which in fairness people are each to their own like i can't i can't complain as somebody that makes that has jumped on the caitlin clark bandwagon i'm i can't complain about what anyone chooses to do for content but the truth is that like it's it's impossible in good faith to be positive about this game if you there, you cannot be positive about this game in good faith it's just not possible this game is is the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This game is disgusting. It is disgusting. It's predatory. It's almost trying to force kids into gambling before it's a video game. It's absolutely disgusting what 2K have done to this game mode. And just morally, I can't... Morally, I can't play it anymore. Look, if NBA 2K25 starts out gamble only, with nothing in the... Um, if there is a gamble only card to start 2K24 or 2K25, you won't see me making, you won't see me on this channel. I might do some stuff for entertainment wise in the main channel, and my plan is to get the game on PC. I know a few of the modders. Like, 
look, PC basket, 2K24 is the best 2K experience. Maybe doing stuff with modding, and I do think with the game on next gen and how bad this has gone, I feel like hopefully we can have we can do something with mods, we can do something um on that side because and we're gonna be able to I'm gonna be able to make some content, but I don't know if I'll touch this game because I feel sick making content about this game. Like I've had a video where it's not on this account, but it's like an I made a God Squad in two hours account. I've had the God Squad made for over a week. I can't even get myself to play a game. I've not played a game of this in three months. I don't play the game anymore. Like, I simply put, do not play the game anymore. Like, I can't even remember the last time I uploaded a video on the game. Or, like, I uploaded a gameplay video. It's been that long. But, yeah, that's the video. I'm just so disappointed in what 2K have done. And I just feel like, morally, I can't do it anymore. I don't feel like, morally, I can um, I can play this game in good... And in good faith, I can promote this game to you guys. I feel like... There's no way of playing this game nobody spent anymore. Which is what I like to do. Like, I don't like the best players in the game. I don't care. Like, what I used to love to do is let me just pick a random player from Season 3. Like, what we would have in other years was there would be, like, a 5,000 MT, 99 overall Darius Miles, who would have his release changed and be hooping. Like, a Kwame Browns, his 99 overall at this stage would be 5K MT. And I'd be going out there running with those guys. I'd be running theme teams. I'd be doing everything. And... This was always my favorite time of the year for my team because you compete with cheap cards. You could run theme squads. Everyone had a 99. They were all attainable and you could use whoever you want. There was a new 99. You got There was a free 99 every day in June and every day in July. We can't forget about that either. But this year, it's just been from Pink Diamonds getting their release on normal timing to the player market being the worst thing 2K have ever done. This game is an embarrassment to gaming. And look, I'm not going to lie. It takes, making content in this embarrassment of a mode takes its toll on you. It does. Um, and like I said it even at the time, ironically four weeks ago, it was before I had the 5 million view month. And I said it even eight weeks ago and I was like, as soon as I got monetized on MikTok's Hoops, that was my priority. Even though it was making way less money at the time. And now I'm after having my best month financially in two years. So look, I think getting away is, it's the move. It's the move. And like, you, because it's impossible to make content in this mode. It really is. And like, you're even seeing like a tie. Ty is, Ty is at nearly 3,000 subscribers on college football. And you better believe like, with a mixture between um, college football and Madden, when that comes out on this channel, like you're going to be seeing Ty at 10, 15,000 subscribers by Christmas. Because he's doing, we're both doing exactly what, made it made it successful in 2k in different niches like he's doing exactly what he did in 2k in a bigger in a niche with more viewers and eventually he's gonna boom considering that's what he's done in a week and then i'm doing it in a niche where nobody really is going to be able to match my output and that includes when it co- the nba season starts and i become more focused on the nba as much as the WNBA, or at least in like college ball so yeah that is that's pretty much it that's pretty much it like for a year for the whole year i kept just about playing this game mode because it was my job and i said it for a while and people were like oh you're just too addicted to 2k and i always said no i was 2k was my job and i worked hard and that was always the case for me but now it's not my job i don't care about it and i feel disgusted even talking about this game mode and for people that are stuck on this mode for people that are addicted to packs i'm sorry I'm sorry. If I brought somebody into this game mode over the years as a no money spent player and they became hooked on this game with it with that no longer being an option and then they became a freaking pack addict because there's at least one person that I did that. I'm genuinely sorry. I am very, very sorry. Um, And do I regret ever making content in this game mode? No. Because no one, nobody prior to 2K24 if anyone told you they saw the game going like becoming this in 2K24, even up to Christmas, I think you could have fun on a budget. You could have fun no money spent. Um, it's very, very difficult to have fun in this game no money spent, especially in the way that I used to have fun in this mode. You can't be excited every day because you just everything's gambling. Even the free content is gambling. Unless you want to use some of those half scrub dark matters that you get for free every week. This game is absolutely disgusting what 2K have done. And 
look, the fact is, is that we all had great times on this game, I think. I think this game was great. This game was great a couple of years ago, and I don't regret any of the content that I made back then. But if you are asking me right now, um, if I could go back in 2020, 2021, if I could go back to when I was 18 years old, starting a YouTube channel, and choose FIFA or 2K to make it on gaming, I would choose FIFA. Knowing the way things are right now. Especially with the way I make content. Because I still feel like what I loved so much about my team, you can still do in EAFC. I think you could still do it up until parts of 2K23. And then definitely couldn't do it this year. I think you could still do that in plenty of other plenty of other like games. And that's where the issue is, is that it really is just a 2K problem. And like this is me being completely sincere. Like if you ended up, if you are a pack addict and you got brought into this game by my content, I'm so sorry. And that's not like that's not just me saying it. Um to say it. I genuinely I I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. And I know for a fact that me, what I've said just there applies to at least one person. And there's a reason why on my channel, you've never seen me. I've turned down enough gambling sponsorships from the likes of, well, from, you know, the companies, you know, the companies that are on every sports channel. And then also back in that crypto gambling days, a couple of years ago, like I was offered 10 grand an hour and like on a multi-hour deal. Like on like a long-term deal. That's what I was being offered. And I said no, because I wouldn't have been, there's no amount of money where I would have been able to live with myself morally if I got someone hooked on gambling, especially a kid hooked on gambling. I would feel partially responsible for that. There's no amount of money. And that's why I just feel sick thinking about this game mode. Because I know, even though I tried not to, even though that was never my intention, I know for a fact that I've done it, that my content has been the gateway for at least one person developing some sort of a Packer gambling addiction. And yeah, it's why I don't know how how much if I play the game in 25, I think I might for the start because there are people that want to see it, but I don't know. Look, I've been trying for I've been trying to find a way to get out of my team for two years. And at least I found one. So yeah. It's why even though I don't make content. I just don't play the game anymore. Because morally I don't feel like I can. I don't feel like. This game. And my morals line up anymore. 